start with a catastrophic flooding to the south where more evacuations were ordered in Monterey County late tonight. The rising water now forcing people from their homes in part of Salinas in the small town of Pajaro. After a levee broke overnight, it sent water rushing through that entire community. The town sits 90 miles south of San Francisco and is made up of mostly farm workers. NBC Bay Area's Natalie Vera spoke with evacuees, some calling this deja vu. Dramatic rescue video shows first responders helping more than 50 people evacuate in Pajaro early on Saturday morning. Worst case scenario has come to, to fruition here in Pajaro. The small farming community in Monterey County was submerged after the Pajaro River levee broke on Friday night. Andres Garcia says sheriff deputies went door to door urging residents to leave Friday afternoon. He says this is deja vu. Back in 1995, the last time the levee broke, he says he came to this evacuation center at the Santa Cruz County Fairgrounds in Watsonville after his home flooded. Some 1,700 people are now displaced. <inaudible> Farm workers like this new mom says they've also lost their livelihood now, as fields will have to go fallow for a while. This is how bad it is right now. You can see the road behind me just disappearing. Officials say that they're working on trying to repair a portion of the levee, but that may be hard to do because we still have more rain coming up. Tiene la próxima tormenta el martes. The chair of the Monterey County Board of Supervisors says with the storm coming in on Tuesday, they're expecting more flooding and more people rushing to evacuation centers. Right now, there are two centers in Watsonville and Salinas. Supervisor Alejo says there will be more shelter at the Veteran Hall in Watsonville and at the Recreation Center in Castroville starting Sunday. Food and clothing donations are accepted. Reporting in Pajaro, Natalie Vera, NBC Bay Area News.